Oh, he's a friend of my older brother's. Why was he like that? Well, he's kind of quiet, kept to himself. You know, there's people from high school that you just don't really remember. Yeah, like everyone? Yeah. See, being from a smaller town, kind of knew everyone, we're kind of tight with everyone, but I swear if you were in a bigger city, he probably would have just roamed the halls in high school by himself for four years. No one would have known who he was. So he's what, just lost it now? <laughs> That's an understatement. So I'm here outside the house of Norman. He's a, a friend of my older brother's and I actually ran into him at the grocery store the other day. And uh, it was nice to see him, but I was a little concerned with his well-being. So I decided to make this documentary to hopefully shed some light on mental illness. So we're going to go inside, we're going to have a chat with him, and uh, we'll go from there. Norman! Hey! hey. How you been? Good, good. Good, good. good to see you. So uh, this is my girlfriend Lila here. Hey, Lila. So it's all right if we come in and have a chat. Is that all right? Oh, sure. The more the merrier. Perfect. Right. So we'll, we'll go on in. And thanks a lot. Perfect. Thanks. Can I get you guys anything? A uh, coffee, juice, maybe some water. Yeah, I'd love water. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm good, thank you. Oh, keep calm and drive on, eh? Yeah, right on. I've seen these everywhere, and I have absolutely no idea what this means. You haven't seen the website? No, I didn't realize it was a website. Yeah, it was a place where you get pictures and other things. I ordered the glasses a couple weeks ago. Yeah, and girls with daddy issues. <laughs> hmm, so what does keep calm and chive on mean? Uh, well, sure, great being here. Uh, you know, I've never been in a movie before. Am I okay sitting here? Yeah, no, yeah, that, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so, Norman, when did you get mittens, exactly? Well, you know, it's a strange thing. It was a couple weeks ago, and uh, I was sitting here having a couple of drinks, and I decided to go to the patio, and there she was, just just sitting there. Really? So, um, Norman, how has mittens changed your life, exactly? Well, it's, it's been great. I mean, I, I, I've been going through kind of a rough patch, to be honest, and I was pretty lonely, and now I have a... Terrific companion. Well, it's just it's just great watching a cat be a cat. So I'm, I'm sorry, Norman. I, I have to ask this: Has anyone ever told you that mittens isn't real? Like it's here? You mean you you can't? Uh, you I, can't. You can't. Sorry, I I don't I don't see her. I can't. Well, it's fine. I can see her. Holy hell! Oh. Uh, are you seeing this? I don't know what you're talking about. You are all right, Ryan? Uh, no, you know, I'm uh, actually not feeling so good. Um. <laughs> uh. You know, I get that way too when I drink a lot of water. Oh, really? Uh, you know what? Um, uh, I think we should maybe go. Uh, Norman, we can do this some other time. Maybe? Sure, no problem. Uh, yeah? You probably need a nap. I mean, a nap does me a world of good. Just like mittens. Right, mittens? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Uh, Lila, are you seeing any of this happening right now? Okay. Are you not seeing this? Okay. All right. What the hell happened in there? I don't know. I... Th I think I just saw mittens. 
Did that weirdo just slip something into your drink? Oh, I don't know, maybe. I think I need to go have a nap. Right okay, now. if you're still freaking out after your nap, I'm taking you to the hospital. So as we all know, Fort McMurray likely has the most chive merchandise per capita in Canada. Well, news out of Mexico and the factory that manufactures merch for the website. Apparently, a number of the glasses and tumblers made a few weeks ago contain dangerously high levels of mescaline. 